Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another reaction to Todd McFarlane's Spawn. This time to episode 4 of season 1, Dominoes. If you enjoyed the upcoming video, please like, comment, share, or subscribe if you're so inclined. And now, let's get on into it. About what happened to Overkill. We screwed up, we will pay for his repair. You got that? Yes, Mr. For his repair. Uh, that silhouette had some sort of horns or some sort of protruding something up at the up above. Is she a spawn or? I can't believe this crap's been going on without me. Mm-hmm. Something. Hey, sweetie, didn't I see you in a magazine? Got a boyfriend, Beaver Treat? Somebody to lick away your day? Beaver Treat. <laughs> uh, you want me to show you? Yeah, show me. It's a big city girl day in the neighborhood. You're about to have your dicks ripped off. Sorry about this. Oh, don't apologize, baby. It's all our fault. That did go in a slightly different way than I was expecting. Now that she was lifting her skirt, I thought something was going to come out of her pussy. <laughs> He's like, fuck this, what? <laughs> You're not the only hunter in the universe, Angela. Hunter. Taking out the last two hell spawns, and I want this one! Hmm. If there's one thing I do well, it's hunt. A lot of people don't like that, including you. But that's not gonna stop me! Her earrings are the, uh... Spawn mask. How long are you gonna have it in for me, Gabby? A century? Two? Just try and keep me out of this, Gabby. Goodbye, Angela. This environment is the first one we've seen so far that... Does, that did not have heavy shadow was fairly well lit and exposed, had um, almost kind of like a uh, Vaseline effect around the edges of the frame, making it look very ethereal. Wanda. You know me. So what do you got? We've mostly, we've mostly been dealing with the underworld, so these are hunters of Hellspawn. They're, they're Maybe not heavenly, but of the light. Sound paranoid, but uh, what you got there is big. How big, Max? Raw evidence from the last kit, unedited, and a latent print off the little girl's eyeball. Mm. I was right. Kyle Watson was set up to take the fall for those child murders. This proves it. Mm. Someone's covering this sick bastard's ass with Kevlar. Someone with a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, like, he's, he's watching his girl, so... Oh. Dope shot. Not a healthy idea. <laughs> I want answers now! Damn. So it's like there, huh? All right. Well. <laughs> the way it was rising up into the trees. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I want a solid, concise analysis from your department telling me who could have done this. They had the son of a bitch cornered, and somehow he got away. I haven't seen a maneuver like that since Al Simmons. And maneuver like that since Al Simmons, where Al was teleporting before he was a spawn. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say, I hope I'm wrong. I'll second that. Thank you, Terry. Terry about to die. He didn't Guy tell nobody else. Voice scout. Mm -hmm. Last thing I need is him turning a few heads by talking to someone. Yep. Old puppet. 
always works in the best interests of his employer. Mm. Right now, I need to find those weapons. Somehow keep us on our timetable. Maybe in my speculation. Uh, maybe in my speculation before that maybe Terry had something to do with Al's death. Maybe not. Seems like a straight arrow, at least in that scene. Our nation needs someone on the front line to get... And I am that someone. Oh yeah, that's somebody. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> wow. And maybe I can help you deal with your Italian situation. What's this? A package from Rome. It's his boy that he sent to him. Christ. Al was never enough for a woman like you want. His death was the best thing that could have happened. You're probably right. What? <laughs> Another nightmare, huh? I, I get them real bad sometimes. That was odd. I have subtitles on to make it quicker and more efficient when I'm editing. Whoever was with Wanda, it said when, and it kind of sounded like his voice, but the face was Terry. Hmm. In. Some sit and wait too long. Others listen to their instincts and prepare. 9017. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the content, please consider heading on over to my Patreon page and becoming a patron. Not only will you be helping to support the channel, you'll also gain access to exclusive content and benefits. So, if you're so inclined, head on over to my Patreon page, the link is down below in the pinned comment, and become a patron. So, Wanda is digging deeper into what's going on with uh, Watson, him being set up uh, for the murders of these children. We do know that Wynn was a middleman. For the politician, they can, you know, uh, keep evidence and everything off his son, all this stuff. So, she's getting closer to that. I'm still wondering the connection between Billy Kincaid and Watson. Because they, especially in the last episode, they were talking about Watson, and in that case, while showing Billy Kincaid. Which further just brings my question of how deep is Wynn involved in, uh, in certain things? Because, I mean, obviously he has pull. Obviously he has tendrils going throughout, um, the underworld. However, uh, we also see in this, they introduce Angela, a uh, hunter of Hellspawn. And they have a building that they go to. And she goes to somebody who, uh, who did, what did she call her? I can't remember, um, Gabrielle. Um, she goes to Gabrielle, Gabrielle, her, the way her office is laid out, the way she kind of sits, the angles that they choose, uh, the angles that they chose for her, um, are similar to the ones that they choose for Wynn. So, as Gabrielle is kind of a liaison for heavenly things, possibly, hunters of Hellspawn, whatever the case may be, Maybe Wynn is a liaison for uh, Malbolgia. Possibly. But then if he is, why is he not privy to Spawn? I mean, Spawn is going out of... Going out of step with it, but he wouldn't know about it. You know that... So, I don't know. Maybe I'm probably completely off base. Speaking of Wanda and Al and whatnot, uh, as I said during, well, as I said near the end of the reaction, um, the whole thing with uh, my subtitles, captions, whatever, was saying Wynn was talking about, oh, it's better off that Al is dead, Wanda, don't you think, blah, blah, blah. Although the face was Terry, and it kind of did sound like Wynn from what I can remember. However, let's assume that that was wrong. Let's assume that they made a mistake in that. Um, and it was actually Terry the entire time. Now, Terry seems straight-laced, 
based on the scene that he had with Wynn earlier in this episode. Um, but what if he's not? As I, as I speculated before, what if he had something to do with Al's death? Um, in order to get Wanda for himself. Or, on the flip side, it was Al's nightmare. So, maybe it's something that he sees his best friend with his woman and thinks like, oh, maybe this was something he was trying to do all along. This bastard, he was doing this and the other. It could be just a thing of his fear of what happened. It's possible as well. Let's say that the subtitles were correct and that was when. What possibly could have gone on in there is inconclusive. However, um, Terry does mention, I haven't seen anything like this since... Al Simmons and Wynn never acknowledges that he never acknowledges well who's Al Simmons he never knew. given how his connections he probably exa knows exactly who Al Simmons is and if he does I don't know maybe there was a little maybe there was a little something I don't know maybe he was trying to get some Wanda booty on the side you know I don't know it's possible Right now, I think I'm erring on the side that it was a mistake of the captions and that um, it's Spawn um, either either thinking ill of his best friend or his best friend actually being the ill one and doing some shady shit. And also, speculation on who is Rome. Um, obviously, he was um, Overkill's handler. But he also apparently has no affiliation with Wynn. So Wynn's this up to this point has seemed like the big of the big in terms of this um this facilitator of the underworld. Um but he says no he told Tony, no, I intercepted this before uh, my people intercepted this before it got to your people. So Rome, if he has this type of pool, if he has the type of muscle like overkill as Wynn does with Chapel, um, is a player himself in this game. Something simply to flesh out the world, or is Rome going to get in on all of this as well? In terms of being interwoven into the um, supernatural aspects of the story. Or, 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 is it, or will it mainly be a focus on Wynn for this season? Maybe it's something safe for next season. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. My short films, reactions, reviews, breakdowns, all that good stuff that's on there and much, much more to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.